Hey everybody, this is Paul. So most of you guys probably already know this, uh, maybe some of you guys don't know this, but uh, I have two YouTube channels. Uh, the first one is Learn Math Tutorials, where I just simply do math tutorials. And uh, the other one is Paul Programming, where I do computer programming tutorials. And the topic I'm going to cover today I thought was uh, a topic that uh, would be good for both of my channels. And uh, so basically what I'm going to be talking about today is we're going to determine whether or not a number is prime and we're going to do that by writing a C++ program. So I made a video a while back um, on my Learn Math Tutorials channel and uh, basically I show you guys how to determine whether or not a number is prime. And so I got a few comments back saying okay that's really great and everything but how do we determine whether a really large number is prime or not? And uh, the way I would do that, if I was to actually do the work and not just look it up somewhere, if I was to do the work, I would write a computer program to determine whether a very large number was prime or not. So basically, in order for a number to be prime, it needs to be an integer that is at least two or greater. So that's one condition that needs to be met for a number to be prime. The second condition for a number to be prime is that the number cannot produce a remainder of zero when divided by any number in between itself and the number one. So for example, the number six is not prime because six divided by three is equal to two with a remainder of zero. So six is basically has been divided by some number be in between itself and the number one and it's produced a remainder of zero. So because of that, six is not prime. So we can basically kind of just check every single case um, dividing by, let's say, two all the way up to one less than the number to check for all these numbers in between. So for example, if we were to check to see if seven is prime, we would do seven divided by two, and uh, that would not produce a remainder of zero. We could do seven divided by three, seven divided by four, five, and six and we would find that all of these cases do not produce a remainder of zero and so therefore we can conclude that seven is prime so that's really great when we're dealing with the number seven but what if we're dealing with some number like 101 so it turns out that 101 is a prime number but you're not going to want to go 101 divided by two you're not going to go 101 divided by three all the way up to uh, 101 divided by 100 to check every single one of those cases. So in order to avoid that, what we're going to do is we're just going to write a computer program that will do that for us. So the first thing we're going to do in our program is we're going to create a function prototype. So this function prototype needs to have a return type. So this return type is going to tell our program what type of value to expect from the function when it completes. And we don't want it to return anything, so we're just going to give it a return type of void. So it has a void return type, and we're gonna name our function is prime, because that's the question we're asking. Is this number that we're looking at prime or not? And what we're gonna do is we're going to pass in an integer value into this function, and the way we do that is we just type int for integer, and then we give the uh, we give our variable a name. So basically we have this function called isPrime. We're going to pass in some um, integer inside of this variable called number and we're going to check to see whether or not the integer in this variable number here, we're going to check to see if that is a prime number or not by writing some logic um, for this function. So that's basically what uh, the isPrime function is going to do. It's just going to take an integer and it's going to determine whether or not that integer is prime. And we're going to do that based off of these two conditions that I have up here. So the first thing we want to do is below our main program. So for those of you who have never programmed before, this right here is what I'm referring to as the main program. And uh, below that we're going to define this um, function right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this and we'll go ahead and paste it down here get rid of the semicolon and then we're gonna just do an opening and closing curly brace and so everything all the logic that we want to have happen to determine whether or not this number we're passing in is prime is going to be inside of these curly braces here 
So let's go ahead and check for the first condition. So we know that we need to have an integer that is two or greater. So what we can do is we can do an if statement. We can say if basically our number, this is gonna be whatever number we pass into the function. If our number is less than two, well then we know we don't have a prime because that's one of the conditions. So if that's the case, we're going to send a message to the screen and it's going to basically just say that uh, number, whatever we passed in, so whatever number we passed in, and then it's gonna say is not prime. So that takes care of that case. So now we need to basically put some logic in to determine uh, whether or not this, uh, if, if it passes this first case, if the number is equal to or greater than two, then we need some more logic to basically determine whether or not this number is indeed prime. So what we're gonna do there is we're going to do an else statement. So basically what happens with this else statement is uh, if the if statement doesn't happen, so if our number is not less than two, then it's gonna do whatever we put in this else statement here. So this is the case where the number is either equal to or greater than two. So it passed the first condition if it makes it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and we'll pick up in uh, part two where we start defining this else portion of uh, the is prime function. So anyway, stay tuned for the next video and uh, you guys have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.